In the beginning, in 2012, my father passed away and I began making regular visits to the underworld, which seemed polite. Like most people, I had not previously traveled to the underworld and hadn't really intended to visit more than once. What had happened, what had gone wrong, was my consciousness. In the beginning, in those early days of death, when my memories of my father saturated themselves through my body like a tranquilizer, I found myself thinking about him even when I slept. I do not really remember the dreams if they were dreams, but I believe that the initial dreams simply replayed past experiences that my father and I shared. For example, my father and I eating lunch together indoors, but alongside a wall of windows in a sunny restaurant near the California coast. I told this to a novelist friend who said that he had experienced similar dreams. In the beginning, he was devastated to see the one who he had lost. When time passed and the beginning had ended, these dreams would occasionally return and strike him out of nowhere, and he found himself gladdened. This was the only way he could see again the one who had died, a thwarting of death. I mentioned this in my eulogy for my father. Time poured by, death became a fact, Death infiltrated my dreams with fact. My dreams would proceed as they had previously, but halfway through, my father would need to leave, would begin to move out of the apartment. He has never lived in an apartment. Would disappear around the corner, would forget about me, would have never been there at all. The narrative distorted itself to represent the abrupt rupture of grief, my consciousness, had scrutinized what was happening and decided to correct it with the fact. In the beginning of this next chapter of dreams, I found myself inside a windowless gray room, deep inside a large state building, stationed across from my father, who sat on the opposite side of a visitation booth, an unbreakable window and telephone apparatus between us. And he must have been in jail, interned at the border between my nation and his nation. He was in immigration prison. He was a migrant held captive at the border of death. This was my first visit to the underworld.